Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Mook. So first of all, if I sound a bit croaky, uh, I am kind of ill still. So yeah. Anyway, I've got my first G Pro Superlight, and I'm quite late. Um, but I just didn't see the point of buying it because I had this uh, G Pro Wireless, and it was already lighter than the Superlight when it came out. So this is pre-owned. I don't see the point of buying a new mouse just to modify it. Obviously, you lose your warranty kind of as soon as you open anything. So yeah. Uh, that said, it's in pretty good condition. So, first impressions. So this little ridge, um, this little bump was actually what put me off buying the Super Light. I know it sounds silly, but this bump tells me that Logitech really cheaped out. And the mouse is what, £150 new? And there's basically no reason for it to be there. So when I saw it, I just kind of assumed they were lazy in like their design or manufacturing process. I don't know, it just seemed like they would got the normal shell from a G Pro Wireless and then added some material. Which seemed a bit lazy for, for so much money, you know? Anyway, moving on. So, the first thing that I noticed as soon as I opened it up is actually how indented these buttons are, these side buttons. Uh, I actually forgot that I fixed my ones and like, by, why? when I say fixed, I kind of just mean I made them so they protrude a bit more. And that's just kind of by sanding the area around. Uh, I do have a video for that, so I'll put the link in the description. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely something I'll be doing to this one. It just feels a lot nicer in your hand. Uh, it's just easier to press, you know, like, I don't know, it just is. Um, yeah, so if I hold both of them in my hand, I can, I mean, straight away, I already know mine's lighter, but I can feel, the, feel it that mine's lighter. I'll do an exact weighing just to be certain. So there we go. Okay, so let's actually get to the point of this video. So if you haven't already, should you buy a Superlight or should you just mod your G Pro Wireless? I think you can get a G Pro Wireless for around 40 to 50 pounds and a Superlight for maybe 80 to 90 pounds. It's around 40 quid difference. Um, so as I've mentioned, this G Pro Wireless is around 60 grams. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's been my main mouse for like two years and it's pretty much perfect. And I guess that's also why I never really upgraded. Uh, and I, honestly, I will tell you, this was the easiest mouse I've ever modified. Like, I'm not really sure why, I guess they just designed it well, I'm not sure. Um, of course, I'll put a description, sorry, I'll put a link of that in the description on how to do it. But I'm actually going to buy a new one uh, so I can do like a step-by-step -step guide, a uh, spoken guide. Just because I think that'll be really helpful for those who just kind of definitely don't have the money to buy one, you know. Um, yeah. And obviously it is, you know, kind of stock looking or stock feeling. Okay, but what if money isn't an object? Is it worth buying? Just to give you an idea, I'm guessing this will be around 50 grams after it's kind of modified. So I guess the question is, where do you hit the point of diminishing returns? This mouse already doesn't feel like really anything is in my hand, but I guess there's not really any point speculating. What I'd actually like to do is test myself with a few different weighted G Pro wirelesses. So add some weight to some of them even. So maybe like 50 grams, 60, 70, 80, 90, um, obviously put a graph and stuff and kind of see what it comes out to. Uh, if that sounds like something that might interest you, definitely do subscribe because I will be doing it at some point. Um, but obviously I need to modify this super life first. So, to answer the question, is it worth it? I don't really know. It depends if you can afford it. Uh, I've been using this G Pro Wireless and if you have some technical ability and generally are just quite good with your hands, it's really not a difficult task to modify and to get it to the same weight as the super light. And especially, I think, when I release this kind of guide, it will be really step-by-step -step and clear. Uh, so definitely, definitely wait for that. Um, but then again, I guess if you have that ability, you know, could you do it to the Superlight? And which goes back to our initial dilemma, so I guess it needs more testing, you know? Um, so yeah, I guess that's kind of it. Should you modify? If you have one, I would say, and if you're good with your hands, that is kind of the main thing, and you just have to judge that. That's that's the hard bit. You just kind of have to judge how good of you of your hands, how competent are you? Um, you know, do you have some technical ability? And if you think so, I'd say go for it, you know? But yeah, maybe wait for the guide if you're not certain. So hopefully this video has given you an idea of whether you should get a super light or just mod your G Pro Wireless. Uh, like I said, I will be modifying and doing a step-by-step -step guide on this super light as well. Um, as opposed to just like about time lapse, you know. Anyway, yeah, thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, please do like and subscribe. Until next time.